Hello and welcome back to Siberia. This is Siberia 4, The World Before. I did play the prologue of this that came out before the official game came out. And um, so a lot of this beginning is familiar. And I also went through and made sure that the controller was going to work on it. The controller works much better than the keyboard. So it looks like I've already played some, and I have, but just as much as I had played in the prologue. So a lot of this is going to be brand new to me. We are back with Kate. This is going to cover two time spans. It's going to cover the time after the Yukos escaped and Kate got caught, and it's going to cover the time long before Kate was ever even born. Um, so it's both a prologue and a continuation. So here we go. We're going to start a new story, new game, and back in Siberia. This is Vagen Musician District, Spring 1937. A young woman runs through the streets of Vagen, the capital of a small Central European country. Her name is Dana Rose, and she must arrive on time for a very important event. Continue. <coughs> oh, excuse me there. In loving memory of Benoit Sokol, and I might mention that this game was in the process of being made when Benoit Sokol died, which led me to wonder if they were ever going to finish it, and I'm so glad that they did, because uh, these games... I have loved since the first Siberia came out. I think the graphics on them are amazing. The puddles, puzzles are at times frustrating, but you can eventually figure them out. A little creativity and thinking outside the box. But look at those graphics. Those are just gorgeous. And the whole world is run by automatons, it seems. Beautiful music, too. This must be our musician. I can almost swear it was Kate. Siberia, this the world before. Bogen <laughs> Osterthens. Osterthal's capital, spring 1937. So long before Kate was ever around. Okay, a little hiccup I there. I need to hurry. Frau Beckmann said she will be waiting for me on the square at the top of the main street. A little hiccup there, but we got the controller to working. Big and day so today. That's the main hey, Dana. Thing. Afraid so, Herr Baumgartner. Herr Baumgartner's bakery. I usually love the place. Everybody does at the academy. But today I'm much too nervous to eat a strudel. Hurry along to the square. You don't want to be late. Not today of all days. No, I don't. I'm guessing the square's up there. I want to see what's down here for a minute. I can't get her to run, it doesn't seem like. Okay. That's interesting, did we freeze? Oh, X to read. The beating heart of Europe. Okay. And we can't go beyond that. A nice little, busy little European city. 
Seems like if she's in a hurry, she'd want to run, but I am not sure which of these buttons are going to allow her to run. Hold right to move faster. Looks okay. like everyone left in a hurry. Oh my goodness, they must all be waiting for me on the square. Uh-oh. Bit to hurry, little girl. There we go. Just learning the controls a little better. Yeah. Throughout the adventure, you will sometimes be given secondary objectives. There is no obligation for you to accomplish these objectives, but if you do, they will lead you to interesting additional content and background information. Beware that active secondary objects will be cancelled if you progress throughout the story without accomplishing them, so stay alert and do not hesitate to get off the beaten tracks. Well, that'll be fun. Is this one of those? Hmm. Not bad at all. I wonder if Papa thing. would sell it in his shop, though. Ah, Papa must have a um, painting shop or something. An art gallery, that's the word I'm trying to think of. <laughs> oh, it's going on down here. Goodness, a rock? Oh no, vandals. Are you all right? None for the worse for wear. What worries me is it's getting worse every day. That's what my father says. Never mind, eh? <laughs> Always look on the bright side. At least, it's prompted me to make some repairs that I've been putting off. Do you know who did this? I've got a good idea, yes. Good for nothing hoodlums. I see who you mean. They only feel big and strong when they're together, though. Right. But people like that can be dangerous when they're driven by an ideal. Especially when it's based on hate and the rejection of other cultures. And they hold no love for Vagarans, that's for sure. For Vagarans, huh? Oh, I guess I'm a Vagaran. My parents and I are Vagarans. Well, in that case, I wish you well. Troubled times are these, young lady. For people like us. Ah, enough talk of nastiness. Ah. I see you're carrying a music case. Would you be the lucky young lady who is to enchant our ears this year? I am. Um, and I should go. It's nearly time. Well, let me congratulate you first. Music is one of the few pleasures left to us nowadays. So, thank you, Fraulein. Thank you for spreading it around. Would you like to do me the honor of writing something in the cement before you go? I'll, I'll add the date like they do in Hollywood. It's all the rage these days, you know. Well, I... Unless you're worried, it would make you late. Ah, uh, let's draw us one. All right, I will. Here you go. Ah, lovely. The great white swan of Wagen. The immortal symbol of our beautiful town. A very fine inscription indeed, and one that will no doubt be here for many years to come, whatever may become of us now. Thank you, mein Herr. I really should go now if I don't want to be late at the Music Academy. I'll be listening from here. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so if we want to see our objectives, we go down like that. We have Investigate the Ghetto which is a minor objective, and reach the main square, which is our main objective. If we want to look at the diary, it's that button, which concludes our objectives. And my other buttons don't seem to want to work. Oh, there we go. 
Dar Dana's Diary. I'm not going to read all of that. Documents and Inventory. Vagen's Hymn Score and Convocation Notice. Okay. And I'm not going to help the up or hit the up help button. I can't speak. Um, just yet. Is it that late already? Paul Beckman will kill me if I don't get to the square on time. Yeah, but I want to inspect the ghetto. I'm not seeing anything, though. Was that my inspection of the ghetto? Can I talk to her? Hello? No? I can look at this. The ghetto. Mama and Papa often talk about it when they think I'm not listening. They say that more and more Vagarins are being forced to live here. Anyway, I'd better not hang around or I'll end up being late at the square. Oh, we did that. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's get to the square now. Use the right stick to look around. Okay, but we don't have time for looking right now. Oh, should I talk to these guys? Go on, hop it. Don't want your sort of hanging around here. Oh, they're not nice guys. Okay. And we're going to The look National at this. Socialist Party of Osterthal. I think that's what Papa calls the brown shadow. Nothing but yobs in uniform, according to him. I'd better not hang around here. Hmm. Reminding me of some of our own history. Few parallels here. That must be her. Good grief. Here we are. Guten Tag, Frau Beckmann. Ah, Frau Rose, there you are. A few minutes more, and you would have been late. Please excuse me, Frau Beckmann, but uh, I was delayed on the way. May I have your convocation notice? Okay, um... Give... him the convocation notice. Thank you, Fraulein Rose. Now, remember, performing at the annual spring concert is a great honor and rewards the best music academy student of the year. So it is imperative that you show yourself worthy. I will do my best, Frau Beckmann. The piano is ready. Make this day yours, Dana Rose. She doesn't look very happy. Maybe she's just nervous. <clears throat> kind of looks more like an organ. Wow, look at that keyboard. You can change the orientation of the camera with the right stick. To interact with on-screen elements, you can move the cursor with the left stick. I swear. My voice. Okay. Oh, I see, and then move this around. Okay. I have to activate the piano first. All There's right. a mechanism on the side of it. On the side of it. Right here? This icon is displayed when you can manipulate the selected object. To make the manipulation work, select the marker 
and then maintain right button while moving the left stick in the appropriate direction. All right. There we go. Everything's ready. All I need to do now is arrange my sheet music and begin. And that would go here. And that would be that. A begin. And of course there would be automatons involved. are going to become important later on. Iron Tega area salt mine winter 2004. So we jump up to the future. Is this Kate now? Ugh. Imprisoned in the salt mines. You can consult your diary to get a reminder of previous events. The diary also gives you access to your objectives and to the documents or items in your inventory. Press that to open it. 
Okay. So here is Kate. Kate's diary. That I will let you read at your leisure. Kind of gives a little background, it looks like. Of everything that happened in the past games. Okay. And then we also have... Um, I guess nothing else to look at. Oh, there we go. Our objectives. Talk to Kiryusha. Use inspection to review the situation. Documents and inventory. Okay. So this must be Kiryushka. Sleep okay? I'm like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. Oh, let's see. You okay? Sure. Digging an assault mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. Uh, let's see what's going on today. Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. And the guard. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who, Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Okay, use introspection sure. to review the okay. situation. Five minutes, no more. Da? Da. And get ready for work. All right. Introspection. God, another day of hard labor. What are you going to do now, Kate? Jeez, can't believe it's been almost a year since the militia sent me here. Gotta get out, move on, whatever that might be. But how, though? No news from outside, nothing. Does anyone even know I'm here? For Christ's sake, someone must be looking for me, mustn't they? Mustn't they? I'm sure someone is. Okay, we did our introspection. Now let's get ready for work. What's this over here? Cell section 3, cell number 31, occupants Katusha Spiridonova, Kate Walker, section manager Simona Kalanina. Code of contact. The color assigned to your team must be visible on you at all times, both outside and inside your cell. Any non-compliance will be punished. The salt extraction quota must be filled every day. Any non-compliance will be punished. The extraction of ivory and or patriotic relics must be reported to a site staff member immediately. Any non-compliance will be punished. You must respect and obey your section manager, but also the entire staff. Any non-compliance will be punished. Meals and rests are privileges, not entitlements. Any abuse thereof 
will be considered as non-compliance. Any non-compliance will be punished. Each cell is granted a privilege of five liters of water a day. Any abuse thereof will be considered as non-compliance. Any non-compliance will be punished. <laughs> okay, I think we get the picture. You want to clean up a little? Well, that was a little. There's the guard. Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. That's all I got left. Is that Oscar's heart? Observing objects from every angle will give you useful information about their origin or use. Use the right stick to rotate the object and move the cursor with the left stick to select areas of interest. Okay. Okay, so, oh, there we go. Observe. There's all Oscar's data inside. Yeah. I was lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baranur and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. That is, if I ever get out of here. And we could have Oscar back again. That would be good. Is there anything else around here I need before I talk to Kachuska? What's this? Oh, that's nothing apparent. Oh, what's this? Something we're gonna take. A guitar pick. All right. Beast? Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take that with us in case we need to play the guitar later on. That sounds good to me. And what do we have over here? Oh, my bag. Okay, so I am ready for work. Glad you're here. Let's stay close, Katusha, okay? Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. Ooh, just like AOL. It's for That's you, old. American Scott. That's an old reference. You've got mail. Thanks. Thanks. No stalling you here. I... You got five minutes to see what's inside. Or else a less friendly face will come to get you. She's not so bad. She's at least let it, gonna let them look at the mail. What is this? Oh, that's her. No, we're not gonna talk just yet. Let's look at this. We only have five minutes. Oh, a little swan. It belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember even my mother couldn't find out what it was called. Oh, pretty cool. Okay, oh, we're not going to take it with us? Of course we are. Nope, okay. And this is a boarding pass? Plane ticket to New York. All right. And a letter? Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? Hmm. I think Olivia was her friend that stole her boyfriend. Strange. What? Oh, 
August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. Oh dear. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia, 212-359-1519. Okay, Vaughn's Rose's house, spring 1937. So we're going back to the past with Dana. Well done, Dana, dear. Dana. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. We shall find a pretty frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, you'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory. Won't she, Anton? Of course. Of course. Then, my darling, you'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, so <father>. proud. <clears throat> I don't want to leave. I really do want to become a concert pianist, but... The thought of leaving Papa, you, and the house to go to the Paris Conservatory doesn't exactly thrill me. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. <coughs> I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the mountain refuge this summer. Oh, yes. That mountain air will do you a world of good, my dear. By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank him? Oh, uh, well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Dana. Thanking him is the very least you can do. Yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. Okay. We need to do that, then. What do we have over here? Um, paper? But nothing to write with. Can we open? No, nope. let's look at this. Herr Gustav, my future employer. Thanks to this summer job, I'll be able to help Papa pay for another year of schooling at the Music Academy. Oh, that'll be good. Fräulein Rose, I am pleased to announce that I have selected your application for this summer seasonal job at the refuge I am in charge of. Your contract will begin on Monday, the 5th of July, and will end on the 31st of August. We expect this to be a busy period. Our refuge will be welcoming a group of scientists who have come to train in the mountain before they leave for an expedition to the east. Your daily du duties will mainly consist of serving at meal times and contributing towards maintaining the refuge. Since I read on your curriculum vitae that you are a student at the Academy of Music, I will also ask you to perform on the piano some evenings. In addition, you will be fed, housed, and laundered throughout the duration of your work. I am looking forward to your arrival and wish you an excellent end to the school year. Gustav Rayner, manager of the Silver Spiegel Refuge. So she'll be laundered. That's always exciting. I love being laundered. The diploma Frau Beckmann gave me after my concert on the musical square. 
Thank goodness she didn't mention I almost arrived late. <laughs> Vaughan Music Academy. This is to certify that Donna Rose has successfully completed the third cycle of piano education. Rectoress Karina Beckman, head teacher Edmund Kruger, year 1937. All very good, but we need to find a pen. So what's over here? Um, this is... I ought to put these away before I lose them. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure I know this piece by heart now, anyway. Okay. Oh, what's this? The Hymn of Wagen. My favorite concerto. All right. We gotta look for any secrets. And in here we have... do we have a letter from Herr Zimmer my dear Anton I've received the paintings given their quality I can only congratulate you on getting them at such a good price I can already tell that they will find a buyer amongst my American clientele and we will get a return on our small investment very shortly on a more personal note, I wanted to thank you and your lovely Lena for the message of support included with your package. The doctors seem optimistic about Miriam's recovery. They think she should be back on her feet this summer with each passing day. I am ever more amazed that such a strong woman did me the honor of becoming my wife. However, I will not hide from you that we are both terribly downcast despite Miriam's medical history that charlatan of an obstetrician had left us with serious hopes that this unexpected pregnancy will turn out well. Although it was really hard for us to take such a final decision, we decided not to run the risk of being met with further disappointment in the future. This concerns Miriam's physical health and it must be said, the mental health of us both. I imagine that all there is left for us to do is to learn to live with the idea that we will grow old alone, Miriam and I, without any children. Okay, I have to, despite her medical history, left us with serious hopes that this unexpected pregnancy would turn out well. I don't understand. Okay. In such circumstances, my dear friend, you will understand that every day God gives us, we wonder about the expediency of remaining here in Osterthal. While the sound of the brown shadow's boots can be heard more and more in our streets, Miriam and I would perhaps be safer on the other side of the Atlantic, where, as you know, I have the benefit of strong professional relationships and some well-placed friends in the New York art community. In any case, please know that your and Lena's support went straight to our hearts. This further proof, proof of the unwavering loyalty that binds our two households has been the only ray of sunshine for us in this particularly somber time of our relationship. I thank you both again for this renewed expression of our honest friendship. Yours truly, Andy. Or, and Adam, where did Andy come from? I don't know. Okay, is that everything we can do here? I guess so. Can we? Oh, we can check the drawers. Nope, it's that stuck. one won't open. Papa really ought to tidy up. And there's a pencil that I guess we'll take. Hmm. Maybe I could use it to write my letter to Herr Gustav. Maybe. It doesn't sound like that would be the best idea, though. What else have we got around here? Let's look at this. Oh, just a grouping of paintings. Frames for paintings. Do we get money from the cash register? More paintings. What are we supposed to be doing? Read the documents in the shop and answer Eric Gustav's letters. Okay. That's the door out. That's a nice painting that we can't turn around or anything. Dana Puppet, I'm busy right now. 
Papa, could your pen be around here somewhere? Could be, I suppose. Four Alberg automatons. These machines are incredible. Okay, we're not going to read this whole thing because we know all about the Vorlbergs. Oh, Hans Vorlberg, of course, saved one of the... Um, These were all very interesting readings, but I should get back to writing the letter now, or Mama will get cross. Papa is so untidy. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. Whoops, we gotta get this one closed. Oh, that wasn't even the next one to open. There's our pen. Do we have anything? There we go. Papa's pen! Perfect! Yep, that is the perfect thing. Anything in here? Papa is so untidy. Oh, yes, we're getting that message, aren't we? Okay, what do we have down here? Huh? I ought to write that letter before I go up to my room. Yes, you ought to. Another painting. Hey, Mama. I don't think we have a lot don't to say. Don't forget to be very polite towards Herr Gustav. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we are going to use not the pencil, but the pen. Formal or friendly? Let's be formal. Herr Renner. I would like to thank you for... Don't, 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 Anna! It's too dangerous! Oh my! What in the name of... Oh boy. Dana, darling, no, no, give it to me, please. Oh, come on, Daddy, I'm not oh, a child. Oh my goodness. What does it say, Father? It's nothing, Dana. Nothing but spite. Will they ever leave us in peace? Come on, Lena, my dear. Hey, come on. Look at me. Don't let it get you down. Huh? Or we'll both end up in Paris with Dana. Would that be a horrible thing? Let's go look at it. Piss off out of here, you filthy Vagarins. Horrible. Yeah. Well, he said the words as he threw it, too. Now back to the Iron Tega area salt mines, winter 2004. Back to Kate. Lovely place to spend 12 hours a day. Kate! Come on! We need to get to work now! Oh, Kate's in mourning. But yeah, we probably better. That's we'll it. Get in trouble. I'll get started working now. You push the cart closer and come dig next to me, okay? I'm very sorry, love. But we'll have all night long to cry. Ah, oh boy. Okay. We go 
gotta get to work. What's this? An ivory fragment. The guards grant benefits to anyone who finds any. Oh. I couldn't give a damn now. Well, yeah, you're missing your mama. I guess she only runs when she feels like running. And she doesn't feel like running right now. Oh, she's thinking as she goes. Brakes are on. <laughs> what a surprise. Well, it's probably a safety feature, Kate. You're just a little grumpy. Grieving for your mama. Now it should work. I didn't see. Hey, look! Come on, let's go and see. Okay, we accomplished that objective. Now what do we got? That could be our do? ticket out of here. Let's check it out. Get out of here. Look at that. Oh my god. Back to Katusha and inquire about the train. Inquire with who? About the train. Use whatever I don't have. Pick. 
That's Must have got it wrong. No. Okay, well, let's observe. Hmm. Still looks pretty strong. So we obviously need a key for that. Okay, how do we inquire about the train? This carriage is more luxurious than the other ones. Maybe a dignitaries? Could be. Maybe it means just find out about the train. Goodness. Jeez. Oh, mummified. Is Jeez. That to do? I guess that's all we get to do. Nothing else seems to be. Okay, but that didn't complete our objective, apparently. We still have it. So how do we inquire about the train? Kate, what are you doing? There's a dead body inside. Leave it alone. You'll bring us bad luck. You get back here. What's this over here? Ew. More bodies. Looks like they were shot dead while they were eating. Looks like it was caught in a rock slide decades ago. Crazy to think that no one's found it. Until today. Hmm. We still haven't inquired about the train. I don't know who we're gonna ask. There was nothing up here. I don't know if I want to go back and see that body again. No, I don't. Beside, Katusha's What's waiting for me over there. Here? This carriage is more luxurious than the other ones. Yep. Maybe a dignitaries? Um, we don't want to go back in here. If there's the slightest chance of escape, better seize it. Yeah. It's too late to turn back now. This cave is reinforced by those old structures. Must have been meant to shelter trains. And for a long time. Hmm. So, the train was supposed to be hidden in this cave, but it looks oh. like it all went wrong after the rock slide, when these men were executed. Okay, so we did it. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Let's go talk to Kachuska. Wow, that's deep. <sighs> Can't even see the bottom. Yeah. And it means the tunnel on the other side is cut off. Must be the way out. I can see the light at the end. How do we get across that? I'm sure there's a way. Follow me. I have an idea. Okay. I too just love the graphics on here. Let's look at this for a minute. Wow. Raging river down below. Not something you want to fall into, Kate. That must be the way out. At the end of that tunnel there. Yep. I think you guys discussed that already. Okay, what's she doing over here? If we build up enough steam, we should be able to use the height difference on the edge of the precipice as a takeoff ramp to get to the tunnel on the other side, and then get to the surface. Sure, that is if you can get the thing started. Don't worry about that. Back in the days with my band, I always used to repair our old van on tours. Okay, but wait a second. First, I want to take a closer look at these bodies and maybe figure out what happened here. Yeah, the train got stuck. There's a gas tank. Full tank of gas. Oh, that looks perfect. as if they were headed for the exit tunnel. I thought it was going to say it was out of gas. Out. Looks we like they were in a gas. hurry, judging from their position. Oh, here we 
we go. You were shot. In the back. In the Same back. Same as those over there. Well, they were eating. Looks like Second World War uniforms. They belong to the Brown Shadow. The fascists who triggered the war before they herded up and massacred millions of innocent people. Oh, see, we heard about the Brown Shadow. I wonder how a bunch of World War II fascist soldiers ended up here. Right. And who killed them just as they were about to ride out of here. One thing's for sure, though. We've got to give this motorbike a try. What? What are you saying? You mean you want to jump over the ravine? Exactly. But the keys aren't on the bodies. I checked. They must be somewhere inside the train. You go and find the keys while I take a look at this motor. Will do. You'll be okay? Don't worry, love. I'm sure this beauty and I, we're going to become best friends. Interesting how the guards let him alone for so long. Don't even miss him. Hmm. Okay, we gotta find the keys to the motorbike. We already know that that was... Oh, can we get in there now? Oh, that's got the padlock on it. All right. I'm guessing the keys are up where we saw the dead guy. If you get stuck, you can listen to a hint by using the question button. Wait for the gauge, 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 gauge <laughs> to be full and press that. Okay. Oh, gotta hold that down. Okay, let's go in. So we should be able to see something more now. Now that Sorry, we know whoever you were, keys. but I need to do a quick search. A quick search. All right, what have we got here? Oh, take. And read. Thursday, April 5th, 1944. I will be nothing more than a sack of bones by the time you, you, whoever you are, read this letter. Every day I have learned to be ever faithful to the fatherland and carry out my duty in the name of our illustrious leader. I would not have wanted it any other way. As per my orders, we have managed to accomplish our mission of securing the train in the agreed place of refuge hidden away from enemy hands. However, due to a landslide, we are cut off from the exit tunnel. So we are condemned to remain here forever with the train, so that High Command can one day retrieve the secrets it holds. This is a blessing in disguise as the Red Army from the Eastern Front approaches, and we would most likely have been captured anyway. This way at least our secret is safe. The troops have become alarmingly disheartened, and so, to save them from betrayal and dishonor in their moment of folly, I have been forced to shoot them. Ah! For I have reason to believe that in their desperation they were planning to try to escape on the motorbike, and then run into the enemy to reveal the whereabouts of the train in return for their liberty. I have hidden the ignition key, key as a matter of form. It now remains for me to do as duty dictates in the name of our leader and our homeland, so that this treasure will remain hidden, until High Command is in a posture to retrieve it. Yours, Major Christian Suter. Okay, well... So this brown shadow officer shot his own men, and then killed himself to make sure the train was never found by the Allies. Whatever it holds must be priceless. It must. Strange. A hollow shape. There must have been something in it. Hmm. What else have we got? Major Sutel's last drink to give him courage? I guess. What is this? He wore stripes. He wore Must have been stripes. the brown shadow officer in charge of shot himself in the head. Ew. Oh. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um. All right. So sorry. I didn't mean to knock off he your head. He wore stripes. Must have been the brown shadow officer in charge of the train. Okay. Oh, that was pretty. Um. Oh, he's got a gun. Can that I must take be it? the shooter. Nope, I can't. All right. There's some drawers to open up. Not very far. I don't think I can make any use of that. All right. A pen? Nothing interesting here. I don't want another pencil, I guess. Let's 
look at the other side. How do I get it? To, oh, that's right. It's this button. What are we here? Let's search somewhere else. Okay. Here. Nothing interesting here. Hmm. Okay. Ah, there's got to be something else we can find. Wait a minute. Major Sutel's last drink to give him courage? Wait, his hand. There we go. Ah, see? Because he looked like he was covering something. There we go. Okay, a secret drawer. Oh, and we know where that's gonna go, don't we? The distinctive symbol of the brown shadow fascists. Many countries have banned it. That's just fine by me. All right. So we know exactly where to put that. We don't want to use that, 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 this one. Oh, and then we have to spin it. Wait a second, like that. There we go. Oh, keys. Just what we were looking for. Yay. Must be the motorbike key. Better give it to Katusha. Okay. Keep trying to make a run, but she doesn't want to. Got him! It hasn't been started for too long. But leave me to it, and I'll see if I can get it going. If I can just get it to kick start, we might be home free. Okay. Uh, can I help? Anything I can do? We haven't got much time. No, I'm good. Why don't you look around? Maybe inside the train there's something that can help us once we get out of here. Okay, I'm on it. I am on it. What am I doing the here? The key to the carriage. Oh, okay. Anything else on it? No. Okay, then let's come over here and open the lock. Here's the key. And there we go. What do we have? A motorbike motor. Kate, your chariot's waiting. Hey, what are you? <gasps> Holy crap. Wow, this is worth a fortune. I can't believe it. This is going to come in nicely when we're on the road, babe. Yes. Okay, let's look around here. A masterpiece. Oh, painting. The brown shadow must have looted it during World War II. You know who the paintings are from. It must be priceless. Now I understand why the brown shadow wanted to hide the train so badly. There's a veritable fortune in loot here. Wow. Is this one of our 
Oh, just going to explore the rest of the train. That's our main objective, all right. And I can't spin the paintings around, but they're, I bet they're paintings that Dana's father either sold. Yeah, see, because that one looks familiar. Nice paintings. Look at Katushka's, like, what can we take with us? I hate to think what became of the owners of all these stolen objects. Mm, oh, see, there's a thought. That is too. That belongs to Dana. Oh my God. What? What is it? It's incredible. You gotta see this. Yeah, it's pretty well the done. Painting. I like the color of the rock face there. Is that what fascinates you? No, Kate. There! Look! It's right under your nose. What is she noticing? Oh, it's a picture of Dana. It dates from 1937, apparently. But I can't make out the signature. Cola? Coba? Or something like that? Anyway... What's so fascinating about it? You mean you can't see? Take a closer look. Sorry, you'll have to be more specific, Katusha, because I still can't see. Look again, there. The girl. She's your spitting image. Yep. I said that right at the beginning. She looked like well. Kate. Okay. You really think she looks like me? Come on, you gotta admit it's incredible, right? Either way, I suggest you put it away. We'd better get going. Okay, what else do we need to look at? Did we look at everything already? Oh, one more painting. Okay, let's get going. Is that our objective now? Leave the carriage, okay. Come on, Kate. Easy enough. You gotta admit she looks like you. It must be a sign. Hold it right there, uh -oh. girls. Oh no, the guards finally noticed they were missing. All right. You've caught us. But take a look inside this carriage. The train is full of treasure. We could all escape with, with tons of it. Just, just look. Don't move. Listen to me, Simona. You've always been good to us, so why can't we help each other now? We'll be stronger together. <laughs> sure. You've been nice little prisoners. I have nothing against you personally. But why can't I keep the treasure for myself? Oh, greedy, greedy. I could leave this rotten prison. Nobody will know. I could even say you tried to escape, which wouldn't be a lie. Simona, don't! Don't take it personally. I just need a change of life. I think you can understand but where I'm coming from. You could no! still do that. No! Oh my gosh. Well, she can't kill Kate. There you go. Oh my gosh. My sweet Katusha. Well, did you kill Katusha? Oh, Kate. Poor Kate. Now you're on your own. 
with a train full of treasure. <laughs> um, save your strengths. Don't talk. You need to save your strength. No, no point, Kate. Hush, Katusha. Listen, that girl in the picture it would have been so cool to go looking for her together, wouldn't it? Nothing's changed. I'm still taking you with. No. You... You you gotta go. You gotta go. And find out before the guards come. Find that girl. All right? Yep. Kate? You knew they were gonna intercept. Why else? Why have them look remember the same? Remember me, Kate. Oh, I'll remember you, Katusha. I'll close my eyes now. But why have them look the same and both involved... Past and present, if there wasn't going to be a connection. So, of course, there is. So, now it's up to Kate to run the motorbike that has cobwebs all over it. Yes, don't forget that, Kate. Oh, let's go back and look at him. Goodbye, sweet Captusha. Let's see, can we take her gun? Give us a weapon? She'll get to live. If only I could have given Katusha the same chance. Oh, we want that gun. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I can't get it. She'll get to live. If only I could have given Katusha the same chance. Nope. I guess Kate's just not interested in using... Oh wait, can she take any of the treasures? Nope, can't get in there. Okay. I guess it's time to leave. go. Escape on the motorbike. Completed. Over there! <sighs> Uh-oh. Okay, go. Ticket area winter 2004. That snow is deep. Stopped for the night. Mueller Wagen. Oh, we have a name now. Hmm. 
Hungary. Down into I'm not sure where we're going. Bogen. Is that part of Italy it looks like? If that's the same map as we have, that is. I mean this is a different Wagen Flower District, Autumn 2005. Okay, it's been almost a year later. Yep, about one year later. And she made it to Wagen. Miss Walker? Miss Walker? Ah, oh, there you are. Let's see, let's be polite. Please excuse me, Frau Wagner. I was trying to decipher this. Is everything okay? I found these for you. They might help you find that Müller shop you asked about. Thank you, Frau Wagner. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, dear. I'll be at the reception desk if you need anything else. Okay, so now we try to find the Mueller shop. Objectives. Throughout the adventure, your objectives will be logged in the diary. You can open it by pressing that button. Okay. They had already told us that. But use the phone book on the lounge table. That's a good objective. Right. Guess I'd better start looking for shops called Mueller that are likely to sell Müller. art supplies. Oh boy. Okay, we have shoes, a general store, food, clockworks, chocolates and toffees, paintings. Wait, let's, okay, so we can rule them out. Can't be this shop. Can't be that one. Shoes. Cat food. A bicycle shop. A gourmet restaurant, a fishmonger's, a hatter, a pharmacy. So we have a general store. What's this antiques dealer? I wonder. This one could do the trick, I guess. And what about this one? And maybe. This one? These three make up a good basis to work from. Okay. Let's see if I can rule out a couple using the map. Press left or right to change the camera angle. Find the three shops on the map. Oh, good. Um, so let's find the pawnbroker. Oh wow, how am I going to do that? D3? Is that what I use? D3. Huh, maybe the painting case came from this shop. Wait a second. This is D3. So let's... Oh, I see. Okay, so D3 is whatever. Okay. And the other one is C4 and E5. Whoops, I didn't mean to leave it. Why? So yes, E5 or C4. C4. 
So C four and E five. Okay. So these three shops are the most likely to have sold the painting case. I need to pick the right one now. Okay, choose the most relevant one, which would be... I can't go back and look. Over here. I don't remember which one was which. Let's do this one. No doubt about it. This antique shop is probably my best shot. Better hang on to the address. I hope I'm right. Just need to get the painting from my room and I can go and show it to the antique dealer. Okay. Well, we are going to go do all of this in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the Siberia games. And let me know if you are. Leave a like, maybe even. And consider subscribing so that you can be in on everything else that, we, uh, that I put out. All the games we play. And I will see you back in Siberia.